Hello and welcome to a tutorial on Siri shortcuts. If you're one of my usual subscribers that subscribes to this channel for drone tutorials, I am sorry, this one is very different. So first of all, why have I decided to do an iPhone shortcut? Well, as of iOS 11, Apple decided to remove the feature that if you swiped up from the bottom, and you could turn on and off your Bluetooth very quickly with very quick swipes. As of this iOS 11 and now iOS 12, that's now not possible to do that. All you're doing is disconnecting your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi from the actual Wi-Fi that you're connected to at that time or the Bluetooth device at that time. It will then switch back on in the morning when you re-switch on your phone. So for me, this is quite a, an annoyance rather than anything that you have to first of all go into your settings you then go to your wi-fi switch it off or on as you want to do and then switch on your bluetooth or off as you want to do now it doesn't take long but it's quite a lot of pushes to do to that so i wanted to use siri shortcuts to actually make um a much faster, easy way. When I go out to work in the morning, I switch on my Bluetooth and I switch off my Wi-Fi because it helps save battery. And when I come back home, I want to switch off my Bluetooth so that I'm not connected to my Apple Watch or to Bluetooth in the car. And I want to save the battery when I'm back home, but I obviously want to go back onto the Wi-Fi settings of my house. So I wanted to go into Siri shortcuts and make a shortcut that would turn off the Bluetooth, but on with the Wi-Fi when I come home and vice versa, turn on the Bluetooth and turn off the Wi-Fi when I go out to work for the day so I'm connected to my Apple Watch and the car Bluetooth. So first of all, you need to download Siri shortcuts if it's not already on your phone. Go into the App Store, search Siri, and then you should see shortcuts come up and then download the Siri shortcuts app at the top mine says open because i've already downloaded it Just download it install it once you've done that uh, come back into shortcuts and open up the shortcuts app now you'll see a few that i've created already there and you'll see that i've got bt on wi-fi off bt off wi-fi on so quite simply when i go out to work i can tap bt on wi-fi off that now turns on my Bluetooth and turns off my Wi-Fi. When I go to the red BT off, that turns off the Bluetooth and turns on the Wi-Fi. So that's a really quick way of doing it just by going into the Siri Shortcuts app. But you can also tell Siri to do that by just engaging Siri and saying, I've done a shortcut called BT on and BT off. And when, it, when Siri knows I say that, it will do BT on and Wi-Fi off and BT off, Wi-Fi on if I say BT off. So I'm going to show you how to create this shortcut. Why? Because it took me ages. Now, I may be a bit stupid, I may be a bit thick, but it took me ages to work out how to do this. So I'm going to go through this quick tutorial with you to show you how to create something simple like this. Now, the problem is when you go in to create a shortcut, you need to try and select something from down here, which will help you do the shortcuts. Now, you can get Siri to send a message through shortcuts and so on and so forth. But this one is about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And you'll see that in there, there isn't anybody anywhere to do this. So I was getting thinking to myself, well, how do I get the Wi-Fi on there? So I just played about with the search bar. And if you type in Wi-Fi, you'll see set Wi-Fi devices to Wi-Fi on and off. Now, I presume this is going to happen for a lot of other things that you cannot see in the menu when you're sliding down. So... When you create this new Siri shortcut, you just press Wi-Fi and then you've got set Wi-Fi on straight away. And if you wanted to add Bluetooth to that as well, which I do, I do Bluetooth and you can see set Bluetooth, set Bluetooth and that's on. So now you can make a Siri shortcut and when you go out of the house, if you go Wi-Fi on, it will actually put the Wi-Fi on and do the Bluetooth as well by switching that on. But on this I want it to do opposites of things when I come in. So you can have any configuration you want it to do. So for this for this sake of this tutorial, we're going to go Wi-Fi on and Bluetooth off. So just tap your Bluetooth and that will come off. 
Then you need to go to these two icons on the top where it's got the on off slider buttons. If we just go to them, you can then create the shortcut and we'll just call that um, Wi Fi on Bluetooth off. Okay, and press done. Okay, we then go to the icon. And if we want to, we can change the color of it so we don't get confused by it with any other icons. And we can also choose which icon we want to do there. So if we wanted to have like a camera, say for argument's sake, we could have camera. Simple as that. Press done. We've chosen the color, done the icon. And now if we want to add this to Siri, we can go add to Siri. You then press the record button and say Wi-Fi on and Bluetooth off. Phrase is already in use. So I've already used that. So let's just re-record that phrase and go Wi-Fi on, BT off. Wi-Fi on, BT off. And now Siri wants to play games with us. Cancel that off and try again. Turn on Wi-Fi and turn off Bluetooth. Okay, so that wasn't in one of my Siri shortcuts. So that's great, it's done that and it saved it. So now, rather than going into the to, to the actual shortcuts app, I can hold Siri and say that phrase, turn off Wi-Fi and uh, turn on Wi-Fi and turn off Bluetooth. And it will do that without me having to go into the shortcuts. Press done. And then we've got what we've done there and we go done again. So now we've got literally Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth off. So if I tap that now, that's now going to give us Bluetooth, Wi-Fi on and Bluetooth off. It's as simple as that. Okay, I know I've written by there by mistake, mistype, but you get the idea. Now, if I wanted to do that the other way round, so that the other way round does it, I simply do that again, but make the sliders the other way round. I hope this has simplified this tutorial for you because it was absolutely doing my nutting. Um, uh, like I say, I might be a bit stupid, but I didn't realize that searching, you could actually go into all the different apps you can. So hopefully that's the bit I want the tutorial to be good for. I want you to know that you can go into the search and search for certain things that aren't in the menu at the bottom. That way then you can create your Siri shortcut um, and, and on your way. Okay, lovely. I hope that's helped. Thanks very much indeed. And I'll see you again.